Good morning, Big 12 fans, and welcome to the Big 12 First Pitch pregame show brought to you by Tire Pros. We've got two good games for you today, beginning with West Virginia and Oklahoma coming up shortly. And then at 1230, it's going to be TCU and Texas. Before we get to those matchups, let's take a look back at a few highlights from Friday. Hunter Hargrove, Trey Ochoa, and Colton Sanchez. And swinging at the first pitch and hitting it deep and out of here is Michael Davis. And Texas Tech has taken a 1-0 lead. Like it would be country. That ball is hammered to left field, and it is deep, and it is gone. Each with two hit nights. Williams pulls that one and ties the game with a base hit through the right side. Clemens at second. Jones at first in the 0-1. Base hit to left field. Harlan scores. Around third is Clemens. He will score. It's a two-run single by Brett Boswell. Driven deep right center field. Hassel and Sluter on the move. Neither one will come close. Jones is going to score. Boswell is in to score. Cody Clemens with an RBI triple and Texas pouring it on. West Virginia enters today's game with a 2-0 record here at the championship after defeating Oklahoma 6-0 on Wednesday and Texas Tech 9-4 on Thursday. Let's send it down to Big 12 correspondent Christine Williamson with more on the well-rested Mountaineers. Thanks, Mitch. Coach, you guys are coming off of a day of rest. How do you think your team is feeling going into this matchup? Rested. It's uh, to have that day off in the middle of this thing and try and save some of your pitching really, really helps. All right, so this is a rematch of the first game that you guys played in this tournament. Oh, you said that they had a hard time hitting in that game. What do you think going into this game will be the biggest challenge for you guys? Uh, trying to keep them from hitting the way they have the last two games. They've really, really gotten hot with the bats. Scored double-digit runs the last two games, so we're going to have to uh, try and limit their offense as much as we can. Awesome. Well, good luck. Following a 17-4 run ruled pounding of Texas Tech, Oklahoma finds themselves on a two-game winning streak coming into today's game. For more on the streaking Sooners, we head down to Big 12 correspondent Annabelle Stefan. All right, Coach, earlier this week you said baseball is not meant to be played at 9 a.m., but here you guys are again, I know, still fighting out here. What is the attitude of this team right now? You know, when you're in the loser's bracket and w what you have in front of you, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. You know, our, our guys are motivated right now to play, as is West Virginia at 9 a.m. This is our second go around with these guys at 9 a.m. So you got to be up and ready to go. It's, it's a, Hopefully it's going to be a long day for, uh, for our club. You mentioned that other game. Now, I know that was difficult for you guys in hitting, but in the past couple of days, hitting really hasn't improved. Your bats are so hot right now. What do you expect to see today and continue that momentum? We just got to stay with our approach and, you know, offense does get us going and, and same thing with the team across the other way, you know, and uh, whoever's going to keep those hot bats will probably win this game. Well, good luck out there today. Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Mitch. First pitch between West Virginia and Oklahoma on a beautiful Saturday morning here in Oklahoma City is coming up next. For the Big 12 Digital Network, I'm Mitch Gerber.